Hello guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing Thanks for the Trouble by Tommy Wallach. This book is about Peter Sante, a teenage boy who is mewed after a traumatic experience. And where this book begins is where Parker meets this girl named Zelda. Zelda is this silver haired girl who claims to be older than she actually is by a lot of years. She is those bigger than life type of girls. Very blonde, very confident. And this book is just about Parker meeting Zelda and spending a weekend with her and how Zelda, Zelda ultimately changes Parker's life. The way I want to do this review, which is my first review ever in this channel, is that I want to do something a little bit different. Maybe not so unique, but something a little bit different and that is I'm gonna say three good things that I liked about this book and three I won't say bad things but three things I didn't necessarily enjoy about this book uh, so I'm gonna start with the things I enjoyed about it number one is the writing style the writing style I found to be very beautiful in the beginning it starts off as a third person narrative and then it goes to first person which I really like that transition it it sort of breaks the fourth wall. And there were a lot of wonderful quotes that I enjoyed that I now looking back wish that I could have highlighted or marked. And the second thing I liked was Parker's character development, the way he grew throughout the novel. And I did feel that the way his mental illness and his disability or discapacity was handled very well by the author. He's not the best character I ever read, but he is one of the more memorable ones. He makes mistakes throughout the novel and he really does grow from them. The third thing that I really enjoyed about this book was that Parker is the narrator so a lot of the things he mentions he leaves out or he hints at and he acknowledges that he might have over exaggerated things which I did like. I felt it was different. I felt it broke the fourth wall enough. And now on to three things I didn't like about the book. The first one being how insta romancy it was. I, I don't like insta romances. I feel like they're too unrealistic, especially how they met. The things they do right off the bat, take in mind that they've only spent three days together and things felt rushed. Sure, you can explain it away by a lot of the character's intentions. What Zelda is intending on doing, I'm not going to spoil that, but she intends on doing something that might be why things were sort of rushed, but I still didn't enjoy that aspect of the book. The second thing is how Parker is said to be a really good writer. And so in between chapters, we get a lot of his short stories. And at times I felt that really somewhat slowed down the narrative. I found one of them to be really interesting, but nonetheless, in bigger picture scheme, I know that they were shown to illustrate how well of a writer Parker is, but I felt it slowed down the story. Last one, I felt that one was really great but even then I felt the other ones just weren't too needed and the third thing I didn't really like was the way the ending um, went. Tommy Wallace went one way with it and I wish he would have gone with another one to sort of tie up the theme of mental illness and just try to cope with it and I felt like what he did with it without spoiling anything way of Zelda is that is that Zelda claims to be older than she actually is and throughout the book there's this question of whether she's telling the truth or not Parker doesn't isn't too inclined to believe her and at the end just the way the things wrapped up or the way things went with it didn't really like it I wish he would have gone another way with it um so yeah but it was still a very satisfying ending in term of Parker. To wrap this up, this is a very short read that gets you thinking about life and, and what it means to actually be alive. Besides all of my complaints, I do feel Tommy Wallace is a great writer. I can't wait to read his first novel which is called We All Looked Up. And I think he's a really nice and funny guy. There is actually a video up on YouTube of him reading the first chapter of this book. Should you read this book? If you like inst 
the romances, if you like contemporary, like along the lines of looking for Alaska and paper towns, I think you will enjoy this. It's only 271 pages, but even if you think you, you won't enjoy it and you happen to find it at your library, you should totally pick it up. So I would give this a library recommendation and only buy it if you like contemporary instant romance novels. And with that, I close my review. I hope you guys liked it. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and thank you for watching.